are today. Uh, as you all probably know, I am a big time turkey hunter. I love everything about turkey hunting. Love the sport. I'm actually a competition turkey caller. And uh, next year, you know, all the calls I'll be going, all the calling competitions I'll be going to, I'll be filming that and putting that up too. But prior to all the competitions I've been to, I did not have a channel at that time. So you can't go back and watch any of those. Uh, but I'm going to show you this last turkey season it was the first turkey season that I actually was able to down a bird. And I've killed two, I killed two birds last season. Those are the only two birds I've ever killed. And, you know, those are real small birds. I don't, I didn't want to get them mounted, you know. So I'm going to show you what I always do. I got this little case right here. It's just a wooden box, okay. And it's just an old shotgun. Uh, it's got, it's stuff uh, for cleaning a shotgun is what was in it. I took all that out, took out all the, you know, carpet in, the stuff that holds it all in one place. And it's just a bare box on the inside. And I'm going to show you what I do with my birds that are like that. This right here, I call this stories in the shells, okay. This right here is the first bird I ever took. It was a little Jake. Alright. And I have the shotgun shell that was in my gun that shot that bird. And I have his beard. He was actually a double beard, but I lost the his second beard. Then I have that little Jake beard, and I have a piece of paper. And on this piece of paper, I have where he was killed at, who I was hunting with, the distance, the shell. So, I killed him at 8.15, that's on here. First bird I ever killed, flew down with hens. Shot distance was 17 yards. It was March 18, 2017, opening day of turkey season. The shell was a federal heavyweight, number 7 ounce and a half, 3 inch. And I was hunting with uh, Papa, my grandfather, Marty Bevins, and Waylon Bevins. Uh, which is some, you know, friends of ours. Went up there. It was in Polk County, which is right on the Alabama line. That was on my first bird. So, you know, I just rolled up that piece of paper. I have everything written on. Need to roll it up a little bit tighter so it'll actually go in there. You're trying to fit that in there along with a, you know, beard. Tell you what, y'all, them federal heavyweights ain't no joke. Hang on, let me get my beard back in. Okay. This is on the second bird that I killed. I have that piece of paper talking about it. I have his beard. This is an 8 inch beard. And, uh, I actually could not find the shell that I killed that bird with, but I just found a, a, a random heavy, heavy dove 20 gauge shell, so I'll put it in that. We'll be going up there. I killed it, uh, filming with, uh, crap, what's the name? Zach Elmo, and I filmed, he was filming the hunt for his TV show, Hooked on the Hunt TV, and uh, I'm going to be going back up there for a deer hunt, y'all see, y'all will see that episode when the show airs next March, but, um, or sometime whenever he puts it up, but the show will come on next March is what I'm saying, we're going to go back up there deer hunting with him, and we may end up finding the shell then, but the spur length was one inch, beard length was eight inch, Bird was killed April 1st, uh, 2017 in Kentucky with Zach Elmay. 60 yards with a 20 gauge, federal heavyweight, number 7, ounce and a half, number 7 shot, Jeb's Headhunter fit 555. Okay, that was a mean combination, boys. I'm talking, and like you just heard, yes, I said 60 yards with a 20 gauge, and I killed that bird. He did not block. Um, I'll put that footage in right here. Here it is right here. So yeah, as y'all could see, that bird didn't move. Alright, he flopped as soon as I shot and then he rolled over. He did not move after that. That was at 60 yards with a 20 gauge and that was on that bird. But I just wanted to show y'all what I do on my birds that I don't want to mount. I take all their beards, I put them in this box, and I have the stories in the shells is what I call it. I thank y'all for watching. Uh, subscribe and to support the channel and give me a like. Uh, also head over to my buddy's channel, Blood and Sweat Outdoors. Give him a like and subscribe. He's got some pretty good content. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.